Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be checking out the brand new driving app for update, which features the car right here, um, Nissan R32 Skyline, and a old cat and an old classic Cadillac. Now let's just move on onto the model. The model looks pretty good. Let me get her out of this. Um, the model looks pretty good. Um, you can honestly, this is one of the better fake models, which like you can barely tell. You can barely tell it's a fake model. I mean, you can easily tell this is an R32. I don't know how you can get this confused with the R33 because I've seen some people get it confused with the R33. But yeah, I think this replaced the other, um, the real R33. I mean, R32. I think they replaced that one. The interior is, oh my god. The interior is very broken. It, there's no steering wheel in here. The steering wheel doesn't, there's no steering wheel. Um, yeah. It, this car's uh, kind of broken right now. But yeah, the model looks pretty good. Um, here's how it sounds. Anyways, um, let's make our way on into the dealership. Um, if we go to the new vehicles, we have this classic Cadillac, and also this was changed. So now we ha you can actually see the traction, braking, and nitrous. We had these three before, now we have these three other categories. This is from the customization. And now when you buy a car, you have the option to just... Um, go straight to customizing it so if I just click that will take me here they also make some customization improvements those improvements are now I need to switch cars let me get a really slow car to me something like this okay Okay, um, it's basically, it has to do with, um, how the upgrades are displayed. What is the car having maxed out, like, touched at all? Whatever, I'm just gonna show you on this car. So, I have this one maxed out. Okay, whatever. Here, if you see this green square, this green square right here, I mean square, if you this dark green area right here so what this shows basically um it basically shows how your how your car stats are going to be once you max it out so it does say you're going to you're going to get le oh, less braking but this green uh this dark green um shade right here it tells you how the stats will look like after you max it out so let's get a car like this um, if I go to race engine, you can see that little dark green spot right there, and it'll tell me how good my stats will be. Um, a really good uh, showcase is if I go, if I go here, you can see the dark green area, and it'll, and that's how your car's gonna look, and that's how the stats are gonna look once you max out the upgrade, once you max that out, that's exactly how it's gonna look. Um, anyways, let's go to the, let's go to the, the, the skyline, where is it, right here. So, this car costs 68000 let's go back to the dealership. Wow, yeah, it costs 68000 I mean $64,000, has a handling of 50%. Acceleration 19%. So sadly, it doesn't show you the exact time it would take you to get to 60, which I kind of miss. Honestly, some people said that it doesn't go with the dealership. I do agree. It does not really go with the dealership. But yeah, you don't, you look, you um, sadly don't see the acceleration anymore. The fastest accelerating vehicle is uh, this one right here. So, this is the highest acceleration, but this is the highest acceleration, I think. I think the highest acceleration would be, uh, 
I think it will be, yeah, around that, over here. Yeah, 45% or 50% would be the, be the better accelerations. Anyways, here's this Cadillac. Um, pretty ugly. Won't lie. I don't, also don't like how the starting color is pink. Um, but yeah. Also, I I honestly uh, think driving in press should stop adding classic cars because that's more of like a roleplay type thing. So I would like it if they stop adding classic cars. Like if you're if you're gonna add classic cars, at least add classic sport cars. That would be nice. Like classic sport cars, like the Ferrari F40, the the Ferrari F40, the Lamborghini Miura, you know, cars like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this update because there's really nothing new aside from the two new cars and the stats thing. And the per and the customization, but yeah, that that'll do for this update. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.